What is up Scream Team, Zach Cherry here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build your very own life-sized ghost face, just like you see him in the movies, because you know, that's something everyone actually needs in their home. Now, there are many things you can get in order to customize your ghost face however you want to, but the three things you'll need are a mannequin, a ghost face robe, and a ghost face mask. For the sake of my own project here, those were the only things I got for myself. However, I might end up getting other props and things to dress them with in the future, so this video will just cover the bare essentials. Now, setting up the mannequin first, this is the biggest box I have to open. And if you're wondering where I got my mannequin from, I just went on Amazon as I didn't want to be looking around forever just to find the best deal. There's plenty of options that range in prices if you're on a budget, but you're gonna want to get a full body mannequin because even though it might be cool to have your ghost face appear to be floating off the ground, most of the torso-only mannequins don't have heads, which means you won't have anywhere to place the mask, and the sleeves will just awkwardly dangle by the sides without any arms. When I purchased this one, it cost me about 150 Canadian, which seems a bit steep, but I did notice that some of the female mannequins were a bit cheaper, so if you're on a budget and don't really care if your ghost face is a little bustier, that could be an option. Personally, I opted for a male mannequin just because my my robe was custom made to my own measurements. Also, if you are interested in buying a mannequin, just keep in mind that I only checked Amazon, where the prices do tend to fluctuate up and down, so there are definitely other places online where you can probably find a secondhand one for even cheaper. Now, when it comes to the robe, there are plenty of options available, so if you're wanting something on the lower end, you can probably find one of the Fun World robes, as those are relatively inexpensive. However, they're more so designed as novelty Halloween costumes, so the quality of the fabric and likeness to the robe you would see in the Scream movies is not going to be very accurate. For my ghost face, I'm using Scream Robes, which is an independent costume maker who runs their operations through their Instagram account, which I will link down below for you in the video's descriptions. These do run for a lot more money, so this is not going to be in everyone's price range, but I can assure you that what you're paying for is the best quality quality ghost face robe that is currently on the market. Every robe is made to order, so you can get them custom fitted to your body based on your height and weight, so rather than getting a flimsy store-bought Halloween costume that you might get a few uses out of, these products are actually considered to be more so high-end collector's props, as they're all screen-specific replicas from the original robes worn in the movies. Each robe is also one complete piece, to give it the proper effect of covering your entire entire body, and concealing your identity just like the killers would be in the movies. So even the gloves are all connected as one piece, meaning all you have to do to put it on is slip it over your head and guide your arms through the sleeves. There's also a velcro strip inside the hood, so if you want to further customize the costume yourself, you can sew that piece onto your mask, just to give the entire costume a little more cohesion if you do plan on wearing it and running around a lot. Now this is what I really love about this product, because because each robe is designed using a special sparkle fabric, which is custom made for Scream robes and based on the original fabric from the movies. Essentially, this is what you're paying for, as this material makes these robes a hundred times more valuable than anything else on the market. You'll also have the option of choosing from five different variants, as every Scream movie from 96 to 2022 uses a different robe that has been perfectly replicated by the designer. The nuances are mostly subtle and more so apparent in the different ways that the robes are cut at the bottom, but this one specifically is the Scream 4 variant, which is done up nicely using a Velcro system that is easy to access and well hidden at the front of the costume. Now, if you do opt for a higher end robe like Scream robes, just know that the mask is not actually included with the purchase, as this is something that you're going to have to buy separately, and believe me when I tell you that this was the biggest headache of this entire process. I personally do not know anything about the ghost face mask, whether it be the products currently available to any of the subtle nuances between each mask used from film to film. Seriously, all I know is that there's the KNB variant we see a few times in the original, and then the more traditional one that to me looks exactly the same in every movie. The most recently released mask was the 25th anniversary edition, however, as far as 
as I know, that's already sold out and now expensive to find through third-party sellers. And there's also apparently a defect with some of them where the first wave released had these noticeable blue spots all over them. Since I wanted my ghost face to be as screen accurate as possible, I decided to go for the Easter Unlimited mask just so it could go nicely with my robe. This one also seems to be more widely available on eBay. However, I just want to put it out there that the buyer should beware as my first attempt to order the mask resulted in me getting scammed and sent this crumpled up piece of plastic. I'm not too bent out of shape over it since it was very cheap and honestly kind of hilarious, but let that be a warning that if the price seems too good to be true, it's probably a scam and you should first ask the seller to send you actual pictures of the mask before sending them any money. Fortunately for me, a friend of mine had an Easter Unlimited mask that they were selling, so I was able to snag this one which, despite a little discoloration, is in remarkably impeccable condition. But like I said before, I'm no ghost face mask expert, so to me, this one looks fantastic and I know it will pair up very nicely with my Scream 4 robe. So let's watch as I awkwardly try to transform this mannequin into a bona fide horror icon. All right, the robe and mask are on and looking pretty spiffy if I do say so myself, but I have run into a little problem that I didn't consider when I purchased this mannequin. As you can see, the hands don't actually separate at the fingers, so the arms are not fully fitted through the sleeves as they stop short when we get to the glove. It kind of ruins the effect of the costume as Ghostface now looks ridiculous for having its arms appear to be super stiff and unbending, but most Disconcertingly, I don't want this to stretch and possibly tear the fabric, so I might need to think of a solution. Other than that, everything is looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this into my studio. All right, he definitely looks a lot better in here and will make a nice addition to my setup, but I'm not really sure I wanna leave him placed right here as it might be a bit too much for my background. And I also don't like how he would be partially blocking my vinyl display. So I might actually set him up out of frame right next to my movie shelf instead. However, my biggest concern right now is the fabric being pulled by the arms as the cloven hands or whatever you wanna call them won't actually fit into the glove. So so what I think I might do here is saw the hands off of the mannequin and fill the gloves with some kind of padding just to ensure that the robe doesn't get destroyed. I guess an immediate solution to this would be to find a mannequin that has more articulation, specifically in the hands, but clearly I did not plan this out very well. So this is going to be a very hasty quick fix, which is probably going to require a bit of elbow grease because this plastic is very durable and hard to cut through. So rather Rather than watch me try to do this, let's just get to the finished result. So as you can see, this looks a lot more natural now, so much so that this thing has actually startled me several times just from walking by the room and noticing the giant silhouette in the corner. So it's definitely going to take some getting used to. I ended up using aluminum foil just to form little fingers to fill the gloves. And while it still doesn't look perfect, I'll probably find some sort of soft foam or lightweight plastic hand in the future just to give it the most 
most realistic look as possible. The other problem with this mannequin is that there is literally no articulation. The arms only move front to back and not to the sides, so I can't display the winged sleeves to their full effect, and there's also no friction that would hold the arms up, as moving them up and down actually detaches them from the torso. As for the feet, I'll probably end up getting some black boots for him to get the full desired look of Ghostface, but fortunately the robe is long enough that I won't need to buy a pair of black jeans, as I can probably just conceal the ankles with some long black socks instead. But aside from the issues with the mannequin, I am very happy with the way this turned out, and depending on how adventurous I'm feeling while recording future videos, you could possibly see him make a cameo appearance. If you enjoyed this video and are a big fan of the Scream franchise, I recommend you check out some of my other content right over here. Until next time, I've been Zach Cherry, and I'll be right back.